Let's get right into it, man. No need for no intro. You know who it is. You know what it is, man. So I want to address uh, this WAC 100, the biggest troll on YouTube. Also, um, his buddy Suge Knight, two peas in a pod. You know, with friends like Suge, who needs enemies? You know what I'm saying? Now, regarding this whole Tupac was S assaulted, right? I can't, you know, you can say the whole, I can say the whole word, but y'all know what I'm talking about. S A S E X assaulted. Hell, let's just go and put it out. Let's go and say it, spell it, whatever. The R word. You know, let's address that because Bomb First has got has put whack Bomb First put whack one hundred on a video interview whack one hundred a disgusting video from whack one hundred the other day bringing this up. I don't know why he bringing this up, but it's false as hell. And I'm a, and I'm a, and I'm a, I'm gonna show you why it's false, right? But but WAC 100 just wants to destroy legacies for some reason. You know, he wants to kill Tupac's legacy for some reason. Now, I talk about Tupac. I talk about the good and bad of Tupac. You know, I got video because Tupac is two extremes. And I talk about those extremes. Good and evil, all this you know, he had a good side and he had a bad side. And some people use that bad side and run with it. Some people see the good side and run with it. I talk about all that. But I've never said the man was S assaulted. I never said that. And I never would say that because I, I, I don't believe that. You know what I'm saying? I believe what Pac says. You know, Pac said he wasn't. I believe Pac. You know what I mean? What I don't believe is um, Wack 100. Wack 100 is new on the scene. Dude, how, how he know all the information? First of all, how he know everything? Well, then they say, well, because Suge Knight said it. Well, Suge Knight... It's just as bad as WAC 100. Suge Knight is not capable of being a loyal friend, bro. You know what I'm saying? If Suge Knight said that, Suge Knight was never Tupac's friend. Was always manipulating and trying to use Tupac. If, if Suge Knight said that, he was never Pac's friend. And he's being exposed right now if he ever said some crap like that. You know, a guy like Suge Knight can never be anyone's friend. Can truly never love anyone. Not even himself. He is the epitome of, of disloyalty. Hatred. An enemy. A devil. You know, that's what Satan means. Enemy. And people say Tupac, I mean, people say Suge Knight was Satan, was the devil incarnate. And they, and they could possibly be, be right, because a man is an enemy to even himself. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just prove who, who Suge Knight really is if he said that stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? If he's going on, going along with the rumors or what they say. You know, this is the Suge Knight that would have, if Tupac and Suge Knight would have fell out, you know, had went their separate ways, had a bad falling out, this is what Suge Knight would have ran with. He would have ran with, oh, 
Yo, you got effed in jail. Yeah, yeah, you got effed in jail. She she would not would have ran with that because that's how of a that's how much of a scumbag he is. You know what I'm saying? He would have ran with that narrative. You know? Even even if he truly didn't believe it. Look what he did to Dre. You know? So, you know, uh, there's not even words to, to say for sure how, 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 uh, you know, what a, what a great friend if he did, if he came out and said that, what a great friend he was. Wow. You know, even if it was true, that's supposed to be your friend, right? So why would you put that out there? He supposed to be your boy. He supposed to be your friend. And, and, and you go out here and, and, and say some crap like that. Put out rumors like that. You know, if, if Tupac did confide in you and told you that that happened to him. That just shows what kind of friend you are. Because you told folks about it. So... That should not like I said it with friends like Shug who needs enemies, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shug was never a true friend anyway to Pop. You know, I, I you know people used to people always say oh, he look that boy should love Pop should love. I, I I never I never really believed that 100. percent I never really believed that 100. percent Suge love Suge. Suge love whatever you can do for Suge, man. And Park did a lot for Suge. You know what I mean? So, uh, it just goes to show you. But anyway, I'm standing with Park. Pac said it didn't happen. We, you know, Pac never, uh, see, the thing that I know it didn't happen, the reason I know this stupid crap didn't happen to Pac, you know, first of all, Pac was brutally honest about his life. If that would have happened to Pac, Pac wouldn't have had no problem telling you that happened to him. He would have been. The spokesperson. For what happened to him. He would have been. You know. Beating the drums on. On the penal. On, on the prison system. You know. On, on the. On the uh, atrocities. Of what happened to men. In prison. And he would have. Been a poster child. And saying, look, this happened to me. They can, this can happen to you. Tupac would have led with that. Tupac never kept a secret about anything about his life. He said it all. He even said in one of his songs, my uncle used to touch me. I never told you, told you that. Scared what you might do. I couldn't hold you back. He even admitted that in one of his songs. You know, uh, rapping to his mama about how his uncle used to touch him. Now, I don't know if that was true or or is he just uh, rapping about somebody else's life? Or was he rapping about his own life in that situation? But he wrote it in his lyrics. Pac never left. A stone unturned. Tupac told us everything about his life. He didn't keep secrets. He was brutally honest. That's why we love him so much. The man said he um, took ballet in high school, bro. Who who does that? 
What rapper said some shit like that? He took ballet in high school. Tupac, t- Tupac told us in the interview he took ballet in high school. Come on, bro. You think he wouldn't tell us that he was ass assaulted in prison? You think he wouldn't tell us that? You think, oh, I'm ashamed of that, but I can tell you I took ballet in high school. Come on, Tupac wasn't ashamed of nothing in his life. He told us everything. Oh, but he going to keep that a secret. Wasn't no secrets with Tupac. The man told us his 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 mom was on crack. Told us he blamed his mother for turning turning his brother into a crack baby. The man you couldn't be more honest than Pop about his life. The man put it all out there. That's why he the goat. And he still stood strong through all his weakest moments, which gave him strength. You think he wouldn't have died in prison if that had happened to him? You think he would, would be able to walk out with a with, with a, a clean conscience? You think he, in not one song did he rap about Anything happening to him in prison. Not even a scratch. And then he had. Visitors. In prison. All the time. Nobody ever leaked that out. Nobody ever said anything. The females. You know. The letters. You see all the letters Tupac wrote from prison. Don't you think he would have wrote about that. You know how sensitive Tupac was, bro? Don't you think that would have been on his mind? Writing letters? Don't you think he would have wrote that to somebody? Confided in somebody? About what happened to him? Not one assault on him did he ever mention in a letter. Did he ever confide in a female? Or a friend? One of the outlaws. Tupac would have told somebody. If that happened to him. He would have told somebody. You know what I'm saying. He would have. He would have put it in a. I, all them letters he wrote. He didn't say nothing about that. He he said everything else about getting, getting back at his enemies. Now how can a man that just got assaulted. Or aped in prison, sit up here and, and talk about his enemies, talk about who he want to get. Talk, how can his mind be on what he going to do when he get out? He going to get on Biggie. He going to get on Diddy. He going to get on, he going to get back at Henchman. He going to get back at uh, um, Stretch. That was on Pac's mind. And then not to mention the prisoners. What prisoner has come out and said, yeah, we did that to Pac? Ain't no, ain't no prisoner came out and said that. Now, if that would have happened, don't you think a prisoner would have came out by now and said what they did? Don't you think? Not even do not not even the ones that committed the the assault. Don't you think other prisoners would have came out that that uh that served time with Pop would have came out and said that was true if that happened to Pop. Not to mention Fat Joe said he was looking out. He had homies looking out for Pop while he was locked down. Who gets aped, assaulted in prison and come out with a big mouth speaking totally against it when he got out? Scratch.
screaming he didn't get assaulted. Who gets assaulted and screams out in the loudest form that ever could be promoted? It didn't happen to him. If it did, who does? Who who says loud as hell it didn't happen? And if it did happen at the time, why wasn't there a rebuttal? While Pop was screaming it didn't happen, who came out and said, uh, who came out from, from the prison, uh, from the prison and said it did? Nobody. We ain't hear about nobody ever coming out. Only rap, only people that don't know what they're talking about, because they think everybody that go in there get, get R eight. They think everybody that go in there get R eight. You know, the 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 people that uh like to talk like uh, put out rumors. People that don't really know what they're talking about. People that never really served time. Those are the people that put out the rumors that yeah, they even said Tyson got. Assaulted in prison. They was talking about that. He got eight. You know what I'm saying? I, I heard. I heard about. So people think a lot. Certain people think that any man that go in prison is going to get assaulted. Certain people have that belief in their mind. They never did time. They don't know nobody that got assaulted. But they just have this belief because of what they see on TV and what they hear. They think everybody gets that type of treatment. WAC 100 is incredible. Has no credibility. WAC 100 has no cred credibility whatsoever. He, sh you know, what I'm saying he has no. Um, he, he don't even he, he he has no credibility to even be discussing this. This was way before his time. He wasn't around Death Row back in the day. Oh, all of a sudden he know everything about what happened to Pop. Come on, man, get the fuck out of here. Suge Knight has no credibility. He done lied numerous of times on Tupac. One minute he's Tupac alive. You know, one minute uh he's hinting that Diddy had something to do with killing Pac. So you can't trust none Suge Knight say. You can't really trust none Suge Knight say anyway. The man is a demon. You know what I'm saying? And Reggie Wright is is, is a, a mini me. Suge Knight's mini me. That's who Reggie Wright. I mean, yeah, uh, that's who Reggie Wright is. He's Suge Knight's mini me. You can tell he got similar. He got low down ways, just like Suge. They both some negative, spiritual type of dudes. You know. Reggie Wright can't say nothing about good about nobody without throwing a little salt in there. You know what I'm saying? Can't trust a Reggie. Reggie Wright's sneaky. That's a sneaky motherfucker right there. Reggie Wright is a sneaky little dink. He a sneaky little devil. I can see why him and Shug Knight was friends. You know what I'm saying? Little twisted mind, my little twisted negative entity, motherfuckers, man. Just hate on everything and everybody. They see the hate, they see the bad and everything. You know, they try to find if you're a good, credible person, they're gonna try to find some dirt. They gonna look. They gonna try. If they can't find no dirt, they gonna create some dirt. You know what I'm saying? Like Re Reggie knew what he was doing when he let uh, Whack 100 say that, put that out there. 
and he tried to act like you know his hands are clean. I know what you know. Well, shut up. Like I said, Park ain't got no reason to lie. Ain't got no reason to lie about nothing. You know, I believe what Park said. He said, look, in that vibe interview, look, I'm gay now. F me and my, you know what I'm saying? He was saying stuff like, he was saying that because he was so disgusted of the rumors out there. He said, this little girl was writing me letters in prison telling me I'm so sorry that happened to you. He, said, he wrote her back and said, that ain't happened to me. If it did, I'd be dead. And you know this. You damn right. You damn right. He wouldn't be coming coming out celebrating if that happened to him. He wouldn't be coming out worried about some damn Jimmy Henchman and Haitian Jack and all that other stuff if that happened to him. And not address it at all. Not address it. Anything like that? He even talked about prison in his records when he came out. All them niggas from Rikers Island. I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? Only thing he did was the COs. Like I said, Park told the truth. About his life. Stop trying to defame. And trying to destroy that man's legacy. Get out of here with that shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's really because. Pac is the man they can never be. Pac is the man that WAC 100 wish he could be. See, WAC 100 see something in Pop. See, see, the thing is, WAC 100 is such a... WAC 100, hate, you know, WAC 100 has a... A real, like, distaste... For himself. You see, Wack 100 really hates himself, man. For a guy to act like the way he acts and to talk about people like Nipsey Hussle and, there, and anybody else, the way Wack 100 talks about other men, men that people love. That shows you how he really truly feels about himself. You know, and, and, and he has a disgust for himself. The man really wants to blow his brains out. You know, he, he really been wanting to blow his brains out. He He's miserable. Misery loves company. He detests the image he sees in the mirror. The man tells him, looks in the mirror and says he's a he's an abomination. Deep in the mind, deep in secret, he's disgusted with his with himself. He repels himself. He revolts at himself. He despises himself. You know, he's bitter towards himself. He's ill. He resents himself.
That's whack 100. So anybody that's put on the pedestal, anybody that's people love, people revere, you know, people have affection for, people have an attachment to, people are devoted to, people idolize. People damn near worship. People have a strong passion, an inclination, enjoy. People like anybody who people do this to, delight in, or smitten with, popular, wax. Hate. Whack hates that. He hates that. Maybe it goes back to childhood. You know, maybe Whack was the person that nobody liked. People laughed at. And Whack maybe had a homeboy that everybody loved. And Whack secretly hated his homeboy because. His home, everybody loved his homeboy. His homeboy was popular. Homeboy, homeboy had all the women. Whack wished he could be his homeboy. Cause that's what this goes back. This, this. This goes back to, to something deep within WAC 100. It's go, it goes back to his childhood, man. It goes back to how he was looked at. He was looked at as the Freddy Krueger. Um, in his youth. In his adolescence. Deep down. That's how he feels about himself. He feels he's Freddy Krueger. You know, he's a he's horrible. He feel he he feels he's he's living a, he, he's a living nightmare, and he projects that and trying to. He hates the world. He hates people. He hates who. We love. He hates who we adore. You know. And, and while he was going through all his hormonal imbalances and going through puberty. And. Living the nightmarish life that he lived. Wishing he was the man. Watching everybody else be the man. And he couldn't be the man. Wishing he was the man. He resents. People. Who are loved. He resents people. Who are popular. He resents people. Who are idolized. He resents people. Who are well liked. And he tries to tear them down. To his level. So he could get satisfaction. Out of the misery. That he lives every day. And money can't make it better. And women can't make it better. No matter how many women he gets, that can't make it better. That that can't fulfill the ugliness he has inside for himself. That can't fulfill the emptiness, the coldness, the loneliness he has for himself. That can't fulfill the bitterness. 
the detestness, the hatred, the loathsome. The resentment that he has for himself. At this point, he's damaged. So he want to damage you. He want to damage Tupac because he's damaged. He want to make Tupac feel like he feel. Well, not Tupac. He want to make the people that love Tupac feel how he feels inside. See, when Wax says anything detestable or horrible about Tupac, he's only saying that about himself. Now, it could be that Wax 100 was R8 in prison. Or R8 out of prison. Back in the day. So he's projecting. On what happened to him. Maybe he wasn't. R8. So to say. But he was. But something happened to him. That was equivalent. To being R8. To being assaulted. In life. Something happened to Wack. To make Wack feel as though he was what he claims Tupac was. Something happened to Wack. Something that something happened to Wack. And something happened to Suge too. And something happened to Reggie too. These people are not programmed the way they are for no reason. They are programmed, they are hardened to the man they are now for a reason. For a reason. And it seems to be that nobody was brutalized more than Whack 100. Nobody was despised more than Wack 100. The, this man has no love for himself or his life. I don't care what he may portray to you or what you or what what he may show you. He can't hide the pain he has inside. And he displays that pain trying to make others feel that pain by his words and his actions he's telling you he is disgusted he is detestable he he's showing you everything that he has said he feels that way about himself. He feels ashamed of himself. You know. He feels disgusted with himself. That's why he can say disgusting things. About a man that we admire. About a, a great man. He hates the fact that Tupac. Could talk about his weaknesses and still be loved. He hates that shit. Because where he's from. We don't talk about weaknesses. We only talk about strength. And y'all love a man. That could talk about how weak he is. F that, F him, F you. Y'all look up to a man that could be so weak. 
can admit to having weaknesses, can admit to crying, can admit to can admit to uh, taking ballet. This what y'all look up to. See, Wack hates the fact that we can admire somebody that can admit. To his most vulnerable state. To his most feminine state. Because that's not what Wack was taught. So that's what he hates about Pop. We still love him in spite of his weaknesses. That's what he hate about Pop. He don't want us to love Pop. Because he never got love. Why y'all love that nigga? I, y'all ain't love me. I never got love like that. Why he get the love? Why he get the pass? But y'all don't give me that same pass. Y'all don't give me that same... Love y'all give him. Y'all don't look at me like that. Why God had to curse me? So I'm gonna make. I'm gonna do my best to damage this man's reputation. But you can't. I, you know. You try, but you can't. Suge Knight the same way. Suge Knight must have some deep hatred for himself. He might was he might have been touched on when he was a kid. Two. Reggie might have been touched on when he was a kid. Suge uh two uh Wack one hundred might have been touched on when he was a kid. Hell, Tupac told you he was touched on when he was a kid. He told you that in the song. My uncle used to touch me. I never told you that. Scared what you might do. I couldn't hold you back. Tupac told you that. He already told you. But see these other niggas that. These super tough niggas. That want you to think they Superman. They ain't telling you that. They not telling you that they was touched on too. I can't tell them that. No they gonna think I'm weak. Can't tell them that. But then when a man like Tupac tell you that, they expect, oh, he, oh, see, they finna kill him now. And when they don't kill him, oh, man, why y'all ain't killed this nigga, man? Oh, fuck, man. Now, if I would've came out, y'all would've killed me. Why y'all, why y'all, why y'all won't kill that nigga? You see what I'm saying? They mad Tupac get a pass and they don't. They mad they can't do what Tupac do. They mad they don't have the love that Tupac had. Have and still and still have. They mad that they don't get the admiration that Tupac gets. They wish they was Tupac. Wack wishes he was Tupac. Deep down. He wished he was Tupac. He wished he was that revolutionary. He wish he was that fucking brave. He wish he was that articulate. He wish he was that charismatic. He wish he was that loved. He wish he was that adored. He wish he was that admired. That's why he on camera. He wants to be admired. He wants to be adored. He wants y'all to say, oh, you right, Wack. Thank you, Wack, for exposing that nigga Tupac. Thank you, Wack, for exposing that, f- that, 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 that gay nigga, that, that homosexual, that fag Tupac, man. Thank you, Wack. We love you, bro. You a real nigga. That's all Wack want. He wants some love. He want that Tupac love. He want that Tupac admiration. 
that y'all never gave him. So he grew up bitter. He grew up feeling ugly. He grew up feeling insecure about himself because his face was all, all fucked up, all cratered up. He has a lot of demons. He has a lot of issues. Like I said, he want he want to kill himself. He just don't have the guts to. So he wants somebody else to kill him for him. That's a whack 100 for you. Whack 100, bro. May you find love and peace in your heart and in your life. Deep down inside. May you love yourself. May you love yourself, bro. I wish for you to love yourself. That includes Suge Knight and Richard Wright also. Peace.